So in this video we talk about glass fibre linings of concrete. Glass fibre linings have multiple applications from steel to concrete, wood and existing GRP. Before applying any glass fibre lining to concrete you need to make sure that the existing concrete is dry and any weak or loose debris has been sandblasted back. Now the first step involves applying a G4 primer. This is a resin based adhesive that's usually applied in a thin layer to create a strong bond between the concrete and glass fibre laminate. So the second step involves applying a glass fibre mat to the surface before mixing resin with a suitable amount of catalyst. Now this mixture needs to be mixed until a slight colour change occurs. This indicates that a chemical reaction has taken place and that the resin is ready for application. On site we typically use a power drill to, with an impeller to mix larger containers. So this resin catalyst mixture is then carefully applied to the glass fibre mat over the designated area with the aim of saturating it, ensuring that enough resin has been applied to remove any excess air from the mixture. We typically follow this same procedure on site where we hold up a glass fibre mat and apply the resin to a variety of shapes and surfaces. Glass fibre laminate is then consolidated using a metal paddle roller. Now this roller is designed to drive out excess air and resin, ultimately creating a more uniform substrate. Once the laminate has cured, a blend of coloured resin top coat, in this example blue, is then mixed with catalyst, again following the same procedure as earlier, before being applied to the laminate. The aim is to disperse it across the surface, providing sufficient coverage before allowing it to cure. It's also possible to create non-slip coatings by embedding grit-based particles into the top coat during application. This is used to maximise grip. If you'd like to find out more about how glass fibre linings can help your project, give us a call on 01633 250652 or visit us at www.strandneck.co.uk